Warcraft 2 had amazing voice acting, particularly with the peasant footmen and orc units. You can tell the voice actor for Warcraft 2 tried to capture that lowly, subservient voice that the Warcraft 2 peasants had, but he kinda just ended up sounding dopey instead. Righto. Righto. Job's done. Job's done. Most of the peasants' quotes are from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You're the king? Well, I didn't vote for you. I'm your king. Well, I didn't vote for you. We found a witch. May we burn her? We have found a witch. May we burn her? Burn her! Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Help! Help! I'm being repressed! And there's one reference to Homer Simpson. No! No! I missed the footman voice from the first two Warcrafts, mainly because it played a big part as the narrator of the story and primary representative of the games. The once mighty army of Azeroth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Apparently the same voice actor as the old footman on Warcraft 1 and 2, Bill Roper, who has also always done the grunt and peon voices, does do the footman voices on Warcraft 3, but it really doesn't sound like him. My liege? Yes, my liege. Maybe he's too good of a voice actor? At any rate, I wish he would have kept that same regal sounding voice instead of the more rowdy, unschooled soldier style of the Warcraft 3 footman. As you wish. Let me at him! The footman's references are military related in nature. Don't ask! Don't tell. Was the official United States military non-discriminatory policy supporting homosexual and bisexual service members. Grab your sword and fight the horde. Is I guess a variation on the World War I era song, Grab a Gun, Put the Hun on the Run. Uncle Lothar wants you. Is an obvious reference to the US military recruitment slogan, Uncle Sam wants you. Referencing also the Warcraft 2 hero, Anduin Lothar. And another reference to Monty Python. It's only a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Believe it or not, the same voice actor, Tom Weiner, does the voice for the Peasant, Knight, Mortar Team, Griffin Rider, and Rifleman. Not surprisingly, the Rifleman's quotes mostly reference guns. This is my boomstick! This is my boomstick! Guns don't kill people. I do! <laughs> guns don't kill people. I do. Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me! I shot the sheriff, and the deputy, and your wee doggy too! I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy! And your little dog too! You'll take me, blunderbuss, when you pry it from my cold, dead hands! From my cold, dead hands! And a character that shares his Scottish accent. Oh, there's me drink! Get in my belly! Get in my belly! The knight does a pretty good job of hearkening back to the Warcraft 2 knight with some of his quotes. Sire? Sire? For the king. For the king. Other than that, more Monty Python references. My favorite color is blue. No! Yellow! What is your favorite color? Blue! No! I never say knee. We are the knights who say... Nee, 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 nee. Being the closest thing to a doctor in the fantasy world of Warcraft, the priest has a lot of quotes referencing medical procedures and medicine. Scalpel. Sponge. Magic wand. Side effects may include dry mouth, nausea, vomiting, water retention, painful recollection, hallucination, dementia, psychosis, coma, death, and halitosis. Magic is not for everyone. Consult your doctor before use. And a couple references to the movie Poltergeist. Cross over, children. Cross over into the light. There is peace and serenity within the light. And one reference to Toy Story. I have been chosen by the big metal hand in the sky. I have been chosen. The sorceress mainly just flirts with you when you click on her too many times, with references to video games and magic. I don't remember casting slow on you. Maybe you should get a strategy guide. Let's chat on Battle.net sometime. Click me, baby. One more time. Me, baby, one more time. For the end of the world spell, press control, I'll delete. The Spellbreaker's references are mainly wordplay on stealing magic, which is of course what the unit does, and it makes sense since the unit used to be called a spell thief. Yeah, you can get a nickel for boosting Starfall, but jacking heals a 10-day stint and counting. Now lifting fairy fire? 
They just let you go for that. It's not even worth the paperwork. But reincarnate, man, that'll get you life. I stole your precious. My precious. I'm a magic man. I got magic hands. Who is a magic man? Being a flying unit, the Dragonhawk Rider mostly references aviation practices and the movie Top Gun. We're currently hovering at a comfortable altitude of 15 feet. Permission to buzz the tower. It's time to buzz the tower. I'll hit the brakes, he'll fly right by. I'm gonna hit the brakes, he'll fly right by. That's right, pal. Adin, I am dangerous. That's right. Nice. Man, I am dangerous. He also references a Far Side cartoon. What's a mountain goat doing up here? And the Reign of Chaos version of the Dragonhawk Rider references the Metallica album Ride the Lightning. Ride the Lightning. Mortal Kombat! Mortal Kombat! The Mortar Team does a couple of heavy metal song references. I'm TNT. I'm Dino Might! Burning, looting, bombing, shooting. Burning, looting, raping, shooting. And a reference to a StarCraft 1 scene. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. I don't know about you, but of all the units in the game, I think the Gyrocopter has the most annoying lines. It may be that his death sound has a long voice line that gets really repetitive. They came from behind! It came from behind! But overall, he just sounds like someone trying too hard to be funny. I'd rather be flying! Uh, oh. Anyway, he references some Top Gun too. You can be my wingman anytime! You can be my wingman anytime. As well as Star Wars. Stay on target! Stay on target! A Budweiser ad. This bomb's for you! And the Twilight Zone. There's something on the wing! There's a man out there. What? Look! Look, he's crawling on... Besides the reference to the MC Hammer song, Can't Touch This... It's Hammer Time! Stop! Hammer Time! The Griffin Rider gives several puns, which you're gonna have to get used to pretty quick as we go through these quotes. They just get more numerous the deeper you look. Someone gave me the bird! This Warhammer cost 40k! <laughs> And now for the heroes. It's not surprising that the paladin talks a lot about hammers. It's hammer time. Hammer time. I want to be your sledgehammer. I wanna be your sledgehammer. Judgment. No? Is that your final answer? Final answer. Go for it. And scriptures. Strike with great vengeance. You'll notice that this quote was longer in the beta. Strike down upon thee with great vengeance and fury. And it's specifically from Ezekiel 2517, which was quoted in Pulp Fiction. Ezekiel 2517. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. And another reference to Monty Python. Let me face the peril. Oh, look, let me go back in there and face the peril. No. I never liked the Archmage. He's got a whiny voice that could have been a lot cooler for the master wizard he is. I mean, remember the mages on Warcraft 2? Do you need assistance? Good times. Anyway, the Archmage doesn't really make any references. He just complains. The crackle begins to annoy me. The Mountain King just follows the dwarf pattern of talking about beer and fish and chips, but... Could you put some bonus points in my drinking skills. Sort of references Dungeons and Dragons. And this line is from the movie So I Married an Axe Murderer. Let's get pissed! Let's get pissed! The Blood Mage has a line from Star Wars. I find your insolence disturbing. I find your lack of faith disturbing. And a reference to his race's magic addiction. Hi, my name is Roy. I'm a magic addict. Hi, Roy. And this line, which is just funny. My blood cries out for the vengeance of my people's blood, which can only be repaid with at least twice as much blood, or maybe three times as much blood. Like if you went to hell, and it was full of blood, and that blood was on fire, and it was raining blood, and maybe that would be enough blood. But probably not. 
Most of the campaign heroes, shall we say, take their job as canonical characters too seriously and just say stuff like, It isn't easy being the prince. And, I pray my father is safe when you click on them too many times. However, there are a few references from Garethos, thanks to his racism. The only good non-human is a dead non-human. The only good human is a dead human! Never trust an elf! No one trust an elf! And this line by Kale was later used as Ragnaros' catchphrase. By fire be purged! By fire be purged! Muradin gets into the jokes a bit more than the others. He makes his Scottish dwarf accent more Sean Connery exaggerated and graces us with a bunch of references from Saturday Night Live's Celebrity Jeopardy. I'll play your game, you rogue. I'm on to you, Trebek. <laughs> Come on, you Nancy boy. I'll take the rapist for 500. I'll take the rapist for 200. That's therapist. <laughs> he also gives this Sean Connery quote from The Untouchables. You want to get the undead? I'll tell you how to get the undead. One of their men pulls a knife, your man pulls a gun. They send your man to the hospital, you send their men to the morgue. That's how you get the undead. Wanna get Capone? Here's how you get him. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. And that's how you get Capone. It's always interesting when campaign heroes who you never get to play as in the campaign have voice lines. Ranger General Sylvanas Windrunner's unit is fully voiced with lines, yet never playable. I can hit a bird in the eye, flying. Did you know some of Arthas' quotes used to be extended or changed around? They were changed to the current version in the English release of the game, but these must have been last minute changes because other language releases kept the original versions of dialogue. A big thank you to Borja Manuel Fernandez Lopez for pointing out these differences in the Spanish release of Warcraft 3. In this scene, for example, he prefaces this line with, Damn you, Melganis! In this scene in English, he just says, It is finished. But in other languages, they kept this unused line of dialogue, which is still found in the files. I'm so tired. In this scene, rather than ending it succeeding you, father, like in English, Arthas says, Let your eyes be closed now that mine are finally open. So much more dramatic, even with the music, and I wish they wouldn't have changed it in the English version. He also has this line among his pissed quotes. There's no need to bow. Originally it was a what line when you clicked on him instead. As for the other human units, they're all just ships, animals, or siege weapons that don't have voices to tell jokes with. And that's it for the Alliance! Special thanks to the fandom WoW Wiki for help with these references. I would have gotten very few of the movie-related quotes and none of the music quotes on my own. Far and you.